Mr. Crawford, I don't want to put you on the hot seat here, but um, when any of your members uh, go through the process of liquidating um, and then go to the agencies and to the SBA and they don't get um, any money back, how do you think that will help uh, your members? Well, as, as, as you know, my members are small not-for-profit organizations generally. We have a couple of large CDCs, but most are small. Uh, and they recognize that you can't have a loan program without having a recovery program to go with it. And so they have stepped up to the plate. They worked with the 106th Congress. They worked with you. They worked with SBA uh, and uh, agreed that they would shoulder the, the labor burdens of uh, doing these recoveries because the SBA, as you know, four years ago, laid off all their portfolio management staff. So there was no one to liquidate and recover on 504s other than a few people that were left over in some of the field offices. Now the SBA has since added, whether the number is five or it's ten people, to their two liquidating, uh, their li two liquidation centers. Uh, that's not the same as feet on the ground. Uh, if you have a, a default in Kansas City, someone that's in Fresno, California, is not going to liquidate that loan. It's got to be somebody in Kansas City to do it, to go to the courthouse steps, to make the bid, to make sure the, the grass gets mowed, to make sure the locks get changed. And so you've got to have a local presence to do that. And we've been trying to convince the agency for, um, I don't know, six years that that was needed. Um, and we're willing to step up the plate and do it. But the servicing fees that CDCs make now are to service those loans. They are not to provide liquidations, workouts, and recoveries. And I will guarantee you that the whole industry cannot do this for free. There's, there just isn't enough money. And so they've got to somehow be reimbursed uh, for their direct costs or for their contractors. Otherwise, the whole thing grinds to a halt. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. Um, do you have any comments after that? I think I would repeat what I've said, which is this is an issue we're working through internally and, and developing a response. Mr. Sarnikov, when vendors go to the members to get paid, what do you think they're going to tell them? Well, I think I mentioned that we have committed to pay whatever has already been incurred uh, through this process. Let me ask you, you mentioned how important lender, lender outreach is for you. And in fact, you held uh, an outreach uh, roundtable this morning, a lender roundtable this morning. And um, I was surprised to learn that you did not invite the National Association of Government Guarantee Lenders to the, to the roundtable. Can you explain to me why not? So, Lender um, Roundtable was to work directly with some of our the largest lenders around the country and some of our largest lenders. We have this a very, is the National Association of Government Guarantee Lenders. We have regular dialogue with the National Association of Government Guaranteed Lenders. But what was the, uh, the reason to exclude them? If you're going to have a discussion about lending. We invited uh, once Mr. Again. Wilkinson, do you really do you believe that you could have provided uh, the SBA with some useful input if you were invited to that roundtable? Well, I don't know the uh, the entire content of the discussion today, but uh, we do represent uh, a large number of uh, of lenders. We do make a significant majority of their 7A loans and. Uh, uh, a majority of their 504 firsts, uh, I would say that uh, I'm, I'm not aware of the attendee list, uh, although I'm aware that two of the attendees that were there uh, were on my board. But I don't know who the other ones were. I think that um, it will be useful for the next roundtable that you conduct that you ha 
invite as many of the uh, uh, people, stakeholders, so that you hear what you want to hear, but also the critiques and contributions that could be made uh, in terms of making the programs more efficient. Thank you.